Hey guys, DJ Big Ron here. Um, I'm on my way to do a gig. Kind of a different kind of gig. Um, a gig that I've been doing for about 13 years. Okay, I'm going to DJ at the roller rink. Um, yeah, I've been there for about 13 years. Um, started out when I was like 18 or 19, somewhere around there, and um, and I just never left. Um, I work for some really cool guys. Um, they, you know, are able to let me off when I, I have a show. So that's really cool of them. Um, they're very patient with, patient with my schedule. Um, I used to DJ Wednesday nights from 6 to 8, but it got a little too hectic for me with my schedule, my other jobs, and that. And, you know, in case there's a gig or something, you know, I, was, I always felt bad if I couldn't make it in. It was just a little too much. You know, I, I had to break away a little bit. Um, but I still DJ Saturday Night Club Hip Hop. Um, as long as I don't have a show. Um, Club, Club Hip Hop is, of course, um, hip hop music, R&B, old school. And um, I suppose I put funk in there too with old school. But sometimes um, I have different people from like Chicago or whatever else. They bring me some really cool stuff to throw on. Um, some stuff that actually they produced, but it was like remakes of James Brown. James Brown is huge in the roller rink, um, in roller rinks, uh, for like, um, urban nights and stuff. Nights with, uh, nights that are, that are urbanish, um, uh, you know, hip hop and this and that. Uh, James Brown has a, has a nice medium beat, you know, 96 beats per minute, something like that. You know, not not real real fast and real slow, kind of in between. Um, there's a few DJs out there that make all kinds of cool remixes of different things. So I usually uh, throw that on for him. You know, you also have old school like One Way or Edward Bird songs, Rapper Dapper Snapper, which is a, a jam. Um, uh, Zappin' Roger. Uh, sometimes African Mbada, but it's a little too fast for that crowd, so I usually try to keep it at a slower pace. Um, a lot of times I'll make remixes at home on Tractor DJ or Virtual DJ and I'll uh, bring them in. Or sometimes I may do something live, a little mix live. Um, the only thing is, uh, if, I, if I'm not using Funky Mix from Ultimix or, or some of the other remix subscriptions that I sometimes use, then, you know, the intro outro is kind of, you know, filled up so you can't, don't have a lot of time to really mix, you know, unless your CD players have, um, what do you call it, uh, have like an extended, or not extended, um, a loop, a seamless loop, but our CD players at work don't have them, so, unfortunately, but down the road I plan on buying like an all-in-one kind of thing where I can, I can do that kind of stuff live and just plug into their system, um, you know, just something to add to that, you know, something that they want to would like to see, you know, some of the people there. Um, that's a cool show. Uh, this show I'm doing today, though, is is family family day, family night, whatever you want to call it. It's the last show, our last um, session of the of the year, as far as you know, the, the winter schedule, spring schedule. Um, then we're going to be going on our summer schedule. The session is from one to three thirty. Playing a little bit of everything, so we top 40. It's kind of like working on a wedding night almost, and a little bit of a school night, or DJ in a school session. A school night, I mean. So it's, it's pretty cool. I still love the job. There's some DJs that hate on me for it, you know, like, you know, skate DJs or ring DJs ain't nothing and this and that, you know. But that, that's fine because I, I've known a lot of DJs, the world mobile DJs, that have started out as in a roller rink. So, and I guess I can finally, I can say that, you know, I started out in a roller rink. You know, I was DJing a little bit here and there for, you know, Get my stuff out of here. Oh, they're really cool. I didn't have a decent wired mic, and I had some extras laying around, so they let me borrow the, the EV ND. 267A slash AS, so very, very good microphone. 
at least from what I experienced. Um, nice stuff. Huh? Love the CD case, skulls. Took it from a kid that was stealing something, so. Or I wasn't stealing something, I was acting a fool, so. He's being a jerk, and uh, his mom didn't want him to have it, so. She gave it to me, and I took it. So, all right, I'm going in, guys, and I'll see you there, and I'm going to set up, and then um, I'll go over some stuff about roller, roller rink DJing. I have, um, right now I'm playing Sean Kingston, Funky Mix, beautiful, one, uh, Funky Mix 108, pretty tight mix, got beautiful girls mixed in with uh, Lean On Me, pretty funky. Um, funky Mix, yeah. Right now we got, uh, using a Dell PC, so we have the monitor. We're using Winamp software. Okay. Keyboard. Minnesota. We're using the, the Newmark CDN25. Grab my headphones, my Sony professional headphones. And then, I, I'm sorry about the name I had for the mixer earlier. It's actually SoundTech Professional Audio, which I think is a karaoke mixer. We've got everything labeled. Okay. Right now I'm using the MX1s out there in the mirror ball. You can see them are flashing around. We got about we got about eight of those things out there. Cool. We got this really old school thing here. We get some nice stuff out of it. Check out this light controller, the dinosaur. But it's really cool. Um, they, I think they got it from another roller, so it's going out of business. If I hit the switch. The light. Which these are LED, huh? You do all types of. They can, they can spin, do different types of things. I really got in the hang of this thing. We've, we've only had it about a year, I think, and I still. I kind of just wing it. Hit buttons until it works. So. So, right here we have the, uh, the QSC amps. We got the RMX fourteen fifty. Two of those. Then we got an EQ sitting on top there. They built all this themselves. They they do everything themselves. They don't uh, they don't ever hire out. They do an excellent job. All right. I mean, actually, cool. Uh, these are CDs. Let's get a different profile. Let's get a different view of the booth. That's our CD rack that they built with uh, like steel pipes. Pretty cool, huh? Got my CDs out. Everything. Okay. We got this thing, Video Onyx. It's kind of cool. Um, if you just want some basic messaging in that, um, plus with a keyboard, um, you can you can set up the way you want with different messages. Uh, right now, it's almost towards the end of the session. Got about a half hour left, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to three inside pre-program. I'm gonna hit. Uh, Mark start. And automatically should go to the last page. Yep, it did. Otherwise, I'd have to hit mark end, but I don't. So I just hit OK. And whatever you see up there. Oh, no, no, wait, hold on. Let's go back. Again. Okay, I hit play. And whatever's on the screen, on the screen. Out there, it's the same thing. It's on the computer. Pretty cool. It's kind of like a PowerPoint, you know, different kind of version of a PowerPoint, bowling alley and stuff like that. Use it. We got DVD players. We're slowly getting into the. Um, we're gonna try to get some DVD player uh, um, bins and that, so we can we can do that and be able to queue up videos. Now, right now, we can. So, um, but it's pretty cool. It's a nice booth. They did a hell of a job in this rebuilding. This. I wish you would have saw what it looked like. It looked like a, a nightmare and ran through. But 
That's about it, guys. Um, Session's almost done, so I'm going to uh, end this with practice and enjoy, and I'm going to.